Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I am going to show you guys my top 5 favourite warm tone eyeshadow palettes. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the YouTube things like subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get started. Top 5 warm tone eyeshadow palettes. So I recently did my top 5 cool tone eyeshadow palettes and just my current top 5 overall favourite eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I will link both of those videos down below for you guys if you want to check them out. When I did the cool tone one, a lot of you guys commented saying now can you do warm tones please and I was like absolutely these are my kind of five fave warm tone palettes when I think of warm tone palettes in my collection these are the ones I think of instantly it doesn't mean these are my only favorite ones or like my all-time favorite ones because I find my holy grails and my all-time faves really does change with my mood I guess but these are consistently the ones that I always always think of these also are not ranked don't do that to me, I can't do it, okay? Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. They are affiliate links, so if you shop through them, thank you so much. And this look right here will be coming on the channel, so stay tuned. All right, let's get into this, shall we? Palette number one is the Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar Palette. I just adore the Lisa Eldridge palettes, you guys. I think they are absolutely impeccable, and this one is just no exception to that. I just think that... For a eyeshadow lover that wants a warm tone palette, maybe wants something a little bit smaller in their collection that they can throw in their handbag, go traveling with, or, you know, keep in their bathroom drawer, or, you know, even someone like me who has a large collection but just wants all of the formulas, um, this is such a great palette. I love her matte formula in particular. It is, like, Lisa's formula is the best eyeshadow formula, especially for beginners, but any experience level like you can literally put an entire look together with just your fingers using her eyeshadow formula and it'll look completely blended and beautiful you do not need like a high skill set for eyeshadow or anything like that because her uh, her mattes sorry literally blend themselves they are absolutely stunning and her metallic formula if you apply it with the fingers it's like quite blinding and metallic or if you apply it with a brush it's like softer and more subtle so you can really tailor her eyeshadows to suit your application, your occasion, and whatever your pref preferences are. And I just think the quality is impeccable. And for just like a small little eyeshadow shadow palette in particular on the go, can't go wrong with Lisa. You just can't. It wouldn't be a top five video for me if Miss Pat McGrath Labs wasn't in it. And this one might actually surprise you, but my favorite warm tone palette from Pat is actually Divine Rose 2. I really, really adore this palette, specifically for this shade right here and this shade right here. And even these like warmy purples, they're just really stunning shades, like absolutely beautiful, very, very versatile. You have a lot of shades in here that if you want to add some color to your life, you can, but if you just want to stick to a very neutral or like softer uh, kind of yeah, I guess more neutral everyday look. You've got that in here as well. Like this matte is beautiful. I love that this is light enough for me for a transition shade. I can really create a whole look just using this one palette. I will give an honorable mention to Midnight Sun, but I find Midnight Sun is a combination of warm and cool tones, not just warm tones. So that's why it goes to Divine Rose. And I just really, in particular, these two shades, and you know I love me a purple, a smoky purple, but these two special shades are chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. So... Divine Rose 2, absolute perfection. I feel like you cannot talk about warm tone eyeshadow palettes without the queen, Natasha Denona. This is the Metropolis palette, and there are some cool tone shades in here. However, the vast majority of these are warm tones. This is actually what's on my eyes today, and I freaking adore this palette. One of the biggest reasons is that there's a lot of cream to powder matte formulas in here, which are my favorite kind of formulas from Natasha, but then you also have these just absolutely impeccable foiled metallic shades. They are incredible. And I just think that Metropolis is so impeccable to have any in any collection if you can get your hands on it and you can afford it because you have nearly every single shade you could possibly ever want in this collection. And even like the green, for example, is in the blue, like they're not super warm tone, but they're more warm leaning than you probably think, especially on the eyes. And it's just like, it's going to cater to every occasion. You have oranges, greens, golds, bronzes, reds, everything you need in here, you've got it. And it is Natasha's just impeccable, top-notch, like creme de la creme formula. 
I'm so happy I purchased this palette. Like I missed it the first time around and then when it relaunched, she like relaunched it I think on her site last year or something and I picked it up straight away and oh, I have never turned back. It really, if you are on the fence, like personally for me, I have never ever regretted picking this palette up. Let's also get the second Natasha Denona palette out of the way. I have to admit, I pulled out my Natasha Denona collection. She has quite a few warm tone palettes and there was like four that I was really struggling to pick between. So I just kind of picked the two that really come to mind instantly when I think of warm tone palettes. And this one is the Good Old Faithful Bronze Palette from Natasha, one of her midis. And this is absolutely beautiful. Now I will say, don't pick this palette up if you, well, don't pick any of these palettes up if you're not warm tone lover, for sure. But the thing that I find about this look is it's really great for someone who struggles putting color stories together. So if you're someone that's like, I don't know what eyeshadows go with what colors, you can put any single one of these shadows together in a combination and they will look beautiful together. So if you struggle with that, this is a really good palette for you. Secondly, if you're someone that just wants to be able to get an eyeshadow palette, not even have to think in the morning and just throw some shades on, know it looks good, know it's going to work absolutely impeccably because the formula is just a chef's kiss and run out the door, then this is also the palette for you because most of these shades, while every shade in here is different, they are similar in some instances, like you get quite similar looks with different tone variations in this palette. And so you really don't have to think about what you're doing with it. You can just like pick any shades, throw them on and off you go. And it's gorgeous. But also just the shades in general, like you have these beautiful bronzy shades and then you have like a warm tone red shade, a warm tone pink, and then a warm tone bronze, but also these like purpley leaning colors here that like it's absolutely gorgeous and last but not least is a smaller indie brand and i constantly think this palette in particular but this brand in general just gets so overlooked and it is the nude prism palette from luna beauty this palette you guys is amazing and i don't know if it's because it's not as like easily um, readily available. I think in the US you have to order this off Luna Beauty's website. In Australia you can get this off Glam Radar and it's super easy and it comes really quickly. Um, so I don't know if it's that or what it is but I just find that Manny's brand doesn't get a lot of hype and his eyeshadow formula is gorgeous. These metallics are like the Colourpop cream like super shop shadows in a way like they're amazing they are so wet and foiled and metallic on the eyes absolutely beautiful and then his mattes are just creamy they're easy to blend impeccable i love the gradient of tones in here um, you do have a couple of more neutral cooler tone leaning shades but a lot of them are warm tone and this is like if you are especially a neutral like just neutral makeup lover is what i'm trying to spit out there this is your one-stop shop of the palette. Like literally any single occasion, if this is your tones and that's, you don't stray from these, every single occasion you could possibly want is going to cover in this palette. Like bridal, glam, work, very casual brunch, like just anything is going to look, you're going to be able to do it with this palette. It is amazing. I highly recommend checking out the Luna Beauty Nude Prism palette if you can, because it is wonderful. And that covers my top five favorite warm tone palettes in my collection. What do you guys think? There are some other palettes that like have honorable mentions like the Glaminatrix, Glaminatrix Nearly Naturals, but again, it's like a, more of like a straight down the line neutral, not so much warm tone, not so much cool tone. Natasha Denona Gold Palette, Natasha Denona Bieber Palette, like there's so many honorable mentions. The Patrick Tarte Major Dimensions one, for example, but these are just the top five that really spring to my mind that like, I guess if you were like, bring me five cool, five warm tone palettes that you absolutely love and adore, like you're gonna go traveling with them for a little while. Like these are probably the five that I would, well, these are the five that I would grab. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know some of your favorite warm tone palettes in the comments down below. I would love to know. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.